Paul Rudd never ages. Let's go. Geeks was popping here with the seventh and final figure in the Cassie Lang stature builder figure wave. We've got Ant Man from Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Let's check him out. He comes with an alternate head, which is him wearing his helmet. He comes with an open palm and a pointing hand, and I believe that pointing hand is from a particular scene in the movie. Here's Polly. He looks solid. The only complaint I have right now is the red on his uniform. It's kind of muted and dull. It's like the black background is overpowering it. When you look at the packaging, you see how the red is deeper and brighter and kind of pops off more, stands out from the black. But that is a really minor complaint. He looks good, solid. We got pinless joints, top and bottom. Boots look good. They're fully textured. So Hasbro didn't cut corners on sculpting down here. His whole outfit has lines. You get that scratching. He has a backpack similar to the Wasp, but of course no wings come out of it. He's pretty good looking. Now just like the Wasp in his wave, I really dig the plastic that you can see the eyes through. I think that's truly dynamic. Yeah, I'm using the big words today, son. This looks like Paul Rudd, but it's a little uncanny valley. I don't know. The eyes seem like they're staring through me. This new beard technology they have, these five o'clock shadows, Fire Lord, not Fire Lord, <laughs> Star Lords, kind of got to me. And this one looks better, but it's still kind of weird to me. I originally was going to buy a second one when it goes on clearance to keep the unhelmeted head on, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think this will do. 360 on the head, and was that intermittent clicks? Yes, it has intermittent clicks. Interesting. Excellent lean left. Excellent lean right, looking down, looking up. No butterfly joints, maybe because I think ants eat butterflies, but arms get yay high. Huggy, huggy, nice and snuggy, snuggy. Wingspan, <coughs> sick. Actually, not really, but I just wanted to call. Double-jointed pinless elbows give me that good, good range. Repulsive blast and kiss the ring. Mm. Mm. Abdominal rocker gives you good crunch range. Kind of surprised there. I knew there was a catch. Bills forward really far, but no willy way back. Only moves like a little bit. Mm. See, look at that. No limbo for you. But again, toot that booty up. You wave, you don't pay after the lap dance. Fell the split there. Come with that Rob Ant damage. Damage. Double jointed pinless knees. Doesn't quite kick his butt. But they're pinless. Quantum prancing. Mania dancer. Get a 360 up at that torso rocker. He gets a little bit of lean with it, a little bit of rock with it, and a nice roll. Feels good, nice and tight. No articulation at the waist. He does have a thigh cut though, so you get a full 360 there. Do we have a boot cut? No boot cut, disappointing. And you get 360 at the foot. His feet are on rockers. M. Big. That was lightning. So he comes in right about six inches tall. There he is lined up with the rest of the wave. So you can see how his height compares. Ant-Man is solid. 
my only complaint, the minor one, was that the reds are too muted. Everything else is great. He pretty much looks spot on from what I can remember from the movie. Articulation is good. Didn't see any slop in the paint. Nothing to complain about. Now the question is, is he different enough to upgrade from your other Ant-Men? So there have been, what, uh, two, three other Ant-Men? Not counting the giant Ant bath and deluxe figure. I have never opened any other Ant-Men, so this is my first. But from what I've seen online, the suits aren't that different. They're minor changes. So if you're not building the bath and you have some of the other ones, you'd probably be okay skipping this one unless you just want the updated one and maybe sell the other. I don't think this is going to be a must-have for most people. But I could be wrong. Maybe there are a lot of Ant-Man fans out there that just got to fill their shelves. Or you're a completionist like me. Let me know. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a plastic loving friend. Make sure to stop off in the comments, say hi or goodbye. I don't care, just say something. Come back in a few minutes, I'll post that video for the Cassie Lang, aka Stature Build-A-Figure. And then I'm going to get some sleep. Alright, till next time, geek out.